Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back once again as we molt. Super stoked to be here with you guys today. I hope that y'all are doing well. Hope that you're having a good day. Um, we've got a fun video uh, today. I've got a whole bunch of gameplay that I've recorded of me playing, and we are going to be talking about something that I'm very passionate about, obviously, which is Clash Royale and some of the creative um, sides of it. So today, just as kind of something fun, uh, I went through my old Notes app on my iPhone. You guys know what Notes is or the Notepad. Is it Notes or Notepad? Um, notes, the Notes app. And I found um, a note that I had made and added to um, from 2016. And then I found another one from 2017 that had a lot of the similar things and I put them together, okay? So the majority of these are from 2016, late 2016, early 2017, okay? So about three to four years ago, uh, I wrote all these down. I've talked to uh, Clash Royale about them sometimes and um, there's never been any direct like, yes, we're going to put that in the game or anything like that. Um, but I've always tried my best to share ideas with the team, whether it's through videos or whether it's through literally just sending a list um, of card ideas. So you guys know that I love being creative. That's what I'm all about. Let's go ahead, jump into this. Enjoy the gameplay as well as we talk about this. Um, so the first, uh, the first unit, okay, the first troop that I came up with is... Um, again, these are all from 2016, okay? They were written in my phone in 2016 in the Notes app. So you guys may have seen some of this um, after the fact because I have done videos before in the past on this as well. So you may have seen other people repeat some of my ideas. None of these were copied. All of these came out of my head in 2016. Obviously, some people can have same ideas, you know? Like, some people can come up with the same deck without seeing each other's deck. So there is a chance for overlap, but all of these... Came out of my head um, and I wrote them down. Some of them have been copied by other people. Some of them have come to fruition, etc., etc. So let's just go ahead and talk through some of these. You guys, let me know how y'all feel about them. Um, hopefully, uh, Clash Royale and the dev team can see some that they like and we can get some really unique and interesting things in here that aren't like anything else. Um, so yeah, number one, uh, the first troop is a ghoul, okay? Um, a ghoul is, I think the reason I came up with ghoul is because I used to play World of Warcraft and there were ghouls in that. Um, so that was where I came up with the name. Um, and it's a troop that dies. So it'd be like a knight. It'd be a single unit. It dies. But then it comes back to life seconds later with a little less health and damage. Okay. So let's say it's fighting something. Let's say it's a ghoul versus a Valkyrie. Okay. And the Valkyrie kills the ghoul. Um, after the, after it dies, the Valkyrie will continue walking and then the ghoul will respawn with less health and less damage, all that kind of stuff. Probably like a clone, but maybe a little bit more. Um, and then it can continue attacking. Kind of cool. I think it could end up looking pretty sweet. Um, now obviously some of these are win conditions. Some of these are not. Um, that one obviously is just a support troop. So that wouldn't really change the game too much, but I think it's a pretty interesting idea. Um, next, I've mentioned this one so many freaking times in videos and streams and everything, and I literally do not know. I do not know why something like this hasn't happened. I do not know why something like this hasn't happened. It is a floating tower, okay? It is a defense that floats on your side, and it can only be targeted by troops that can target air. Maybe like an aerial bomber or something, just as a very basic explanation, okay? We have so many defenses on the ground, um, like a cannon that can only target uh, things on the ground. So a cannon can't target minions, right? Cannon can't target minions. Um, and a Tesla can target air and ground. Um, everything, everything can target all of our defenses right now. I think we need a defense that can't be targeted by everything. I think it'd be super cool to have a floating island on your side where... Either I don't know what type of damage it would do, but it floats up there and either um, uh, like say they have a lava hound that's coming at you or whatever, then the lava hound would go and target this and the other things down below wouldn't target it. So it wouldn't lose health unless there was something that could target it, like a musketeer or a baby dragon or archers, whatever. But if it was just a lava hound, then it wouldn't be able to take damage from anything else on the ground until it shot up. So I think that I, like literally I'm really surprised that we haven't seen a defense like that. Um, again, I came up with these three to four years ago, and they're there, they're out there, and I would love to see so many of these things implemented into the game, man. Um, okay, a next one. The Friar, okay? So a Friar is like a farmer, if you will, okay? A Friar. He's dirty, all right? He's dirty. 
So he has a cloud of dust or dirt surrounding him that extends 1.5 tiles away from him, okay? The dirt doesn't go away until he's killed. Now here's the thing about the dirt around him that's super cool, okay? Other units can hide inside of the dust and not be targeted by other units. But obviously it can be damaged by spells. So if you fireballed the friar and there were things in there, then they would take damage, okay? Um, and if you deployed it quick enough and someone wasn't paying attention, you could drop off a goblin gang surrounding him and they would be in there. And obviously if he zapped or logged, it would kill them. Um, but... Say it was a friar and a bunch of goblins. I just hit the mic, sorry. Friar and a bunch of goblins and then a musketeer. The musketeer wouldn't do any damage to the things within because it's a single target thing. So they could shoot. There could be archers in there with them, whatever. Obviously, if it was a wizard, it would do damage. Um, so it's really just like a cloaking ability, but it's a dirty farmer who's been working out in the field. He's dirty. He's got a cloud of smoke around him. Um, I think that'd be so cool. Like, it'd be so freaking cool to have something like that in the game. Um, next. Now, this is crazy. I tweeted about this. Um, I called it an adventurer, okay? In my, in my mind, it was kind of like Indiana Jones, if you guys know who Indiana Jones is. Um, he would have a whip, so like, whoosh, he'd have a whip. Listen to this, guys. This is how I wrote this. I typed this in 2016. A man with a whip that pulls troops close to him, causing them to retarget. What does that sound like? Does that sound like the fisherman to you guys? <laughs> so I wrote that in 2016, causing them to retarget, but mine said that it cannot grab larger units or princes and dark princes while they're charging. Okay, and so my idea behind that was, say there's a, and this shows you um, that it was written back then. My idea behind it then was when giants were like all over the place and it was like giant musketeer or a giant witch. Um, the idea was if it was giant witch, then the adventurer would grab the witch, pull it out in front of the giant, and then you'd be able to kill that support unit um, that otherwise would have been behind. So that was my idea behind it. Um, and then we got the fishermen. I don't know if they based it off of this, but it's still pretty cool that literally the fishermen resemble something that I came up with four years ago. Super, super cool. Um, next, this one's pretty basic. It's a scout. It doesn't do any damage. Um, and it increases the attack range of troops around it by one tile. Okay, so it would probably be like a scout. I don't know how much elixir it would cost. And anything within two tiles of it can... Um, get one extra tile, okay? So you would have a musketeer that was standing next to a scout and be able to shoot a little bit further. But then once the scout dies, can't do anything about it. It's no longer going to be working, et cetera, et cetera. That's the scout. Next, um, the pickpocket. This isn't really anything too original, um, but it disables an enemy weapon once within range for X amount of time, okay? So pickpocket goes up to an executioner, yeet, takes his weapon away for a second, second and a half, uh, half a second, who knows? Um, and gets rid of that. Super cool. Next, Necromancer. Okay, I'm sure that you guys have seen this floating around. Um, the Necromancer raises dead troops back to life. Um, has a cast time of one to two seconds per troop based off of the time of death. So the Necromancer would walk around. It probably wouldn't do any damage um, if I had to guess. And you drop it off. And it raises things back to life unless you kill it. Okay, so like imagine the reaction you have to do. Someone kills a giant skeleton or something, and then they drop off, or and then you drop off a necromancer to raise it back. They have to respond immediately and either rocket it or something in order to save that elixir. Um, crazy, like necromancer, super cool. I think that'd be awesome. Um, another very basic one, uh, an alchemist. It throws poison spells at individual units that only deal damage within that specific tile, okay? so. It throw a poison spell at, say, a musketeer. So if the musket musketeer was standing in its one tile, it'd throw an, an alchemist. It would Like an alchemist would have jars of or little vials of poison. And so it would throw it, and it'd only be within that one tile. Okay, so it wouldn't affect anything else. It'd only be in that one tile, so it'd be like, boop, kind of like a bomber. Um, but no, no splash effect or anything like that in that one tile. So that musketeer shooting throws it over, sits in there. As long as that musketeer is staying in there, it's going to continue to gain that poison effect. Um, and then obviously if things are stacked, which I guess they can't necessarily be stacked unless it was like um, a minion above something or something like that. But yeah, so that's the alchemist. Um, next, a cleric. Okay, so a cleric is like a sorcerer. Um, it casts a disorientation spell once within its lifetime using all of its energy. After that, it is simply a troop on the field that can be used for distraction. Okay, so after that, it's just got health. Can't really do anything about it. 
it doesn't do anything. The disorientation spell does no damage. It just confuses troop for X amount of seconds, okay? So depending on the value and how much elixir the cleric costs, that's how long these thing, uh, I hit the mic again, would last, okay? So it throw, you drop it off, cleric casts that disorientation spell. So Inferno Dragon doesn't know what the freak's going on. It's no longer doing anything. Um, and all these things are interrupted for a second, two seconds, whatever it may be. Slows things down. I think that'd be pretty cool. That's the cleric. Next, this is one of my favorite. This is literally one of my favorite things. I want this to be in the game so bad because I think visually it'd be hilarious. And I think it'd just be good. Okay, I've talked about this before. A lot of you guys haven't seen these videos. Um, it would be the Acrobat Brothers. Okay, the Acrobat Brothers. So right now we have the Rascals. We got the Rascal Boy and the Rascal Girls. They're brother and sister, whatever. Uh, are they brother and sister? I don't even know. Um, but you have the Acrobat Brothers, okay? They're tricksters, so they're just like super goofy and like jumping all over the place. Um, the tricksters, they can throw each other X amount of tiles. Let's just say three, okay? Let's say they can throw each other three. They're fast and dodgy, so they have a quick speed. Example, if there is a spear goblin across the river, you drop off your Acrobat Brothers, one of them grabs the brother by the feet, you know, like you see in Acrobats, throws it across the river, it lands, doesn't do damage when it lands, and then it attacks, okay? Like, how, how much freaking fun is that? It's so much fun. I think that'd be so awesome, and they'd be goofy. They would just make noises like, hip, hip, yep, uh, yep, yep. Like, just freaking weird Acrobat Brothers. I think they'd be super cool. And, like, think about this. Think about having a giant and... A musketeer, okay? I used that example before. You drop off Acrobat Brothers, okay? One of them is strong, tanky, probably does a little bit less damage. And then the one that's being thrown, uh, less health, glass cannon, does a little bit more damage, okay? So he drops it off, you throw it, it goes behind the giant, and gets the musketeer, takes it out, and then comes in and helps attack the giant. Super cool. Super freaking cool. Acrobat Brothers, come on, let's go. Um, the jumper, he mirrors himself, creating an extremely weak... Uh, unit as a distraction. So that's pretty crazy because that's kind of like Leon. That's kind of like the new Leon update that you guys saw. Um, so Jumper would mirror himself creating an example or an extremely weak unit. And I think this was before the clone spell came out. Um, I'm not sure. But yeah, so he would create an extremely weak version of himself. Um, and that would be what the Jumper is. Next you have a Spy. This is pretty cool. Um, so this would be a win condition. Um, the spy disguises himself as an ally to the enemy and can only be attacked or targeted once it begins to attack the enemy tar uh, tower. So you guys already know I created the miner. Um, I didn't call it the miner, uh, but I worked with them on that. Um, and because of my idea, they created the miner, implemented it into the game. This is kind of along those same lines of something that is sneaky and um, goes over to the other side, and maybe this was even it. I don't know. This was in 2016. I don't remember when the miner came out. Um, but so it can't be targeted by troops until it is attacked by the enemy tower. Okay, super cool. He's a spy. He can just walk through. So if they have a big thing coming, he just walks right on through. Like, hey guys, I'm a part of your squad. What's up? And then he attacks the enemy tower. Super cool. Really, really fun. Um, next, the berserker. This isn't that um, uncommon. Um, as he kills units, he becomes stronger for each unit. He gets the killing blow on his attack speed or damage go up X percent. Um, and he would have to be, he would have to get the killing blow in order to do that. Um, next, this is another one of my favorites. I talk about this one a lot because there's no, there's absolutely nothing like this in the game. There's absolutely nothing like this in the game. Um, the Jester, okay? So the Jester, he's juggling five, five bombs, okay? I don't know what their effect is or anything. They're bombs. Could be like the bomber, whatever. Still not like anything in the game. Let me finish explaining, okay? So Jester's throwing these. He has five bombs, okay? Which means he has five things of ammunition that he can throw. And then he's out. There's nothing else in the game that runs out of ammunition besides really like a battle ram. You know, because it has its ram. It hits. Ram goes away. Now it's barbarians, okay? But like Musketeer, it can stay alive forever. You can shoot as long as you want it to. Princess, shoot as long as you want it to. There's nothing that has a limited amount of ammunition, okay? So the Jester has five bombs that he throws at troops. Once he's done throwing the bombs, then he jumps to the tower, okay? So he targets the tower after that. Um, again, currently we don't have anything like this in the game. Um, 
and then like otherwise they just die whenever they run out so like giant skeleton uh it dies the bomb blows up whatever um that's another one where it's like limited ammo but it's it's gone at that point um and so this one he's got his he's juggling around super cool visual effect throwing these bombs once he's down to five then he goes and targets uh the tower um i don't think he'd be really fast maybe because he's a, a jester he seems like he'd jump around but i don't think he'd be as fast as like a, a lumberjack or something um next this one's kind of cool uh a cloud literally just basically a cloud um and the cloud nick just texted me the cloud um it does the same damage as a lightning spell um but can only be played on your side Okay, so this kind of goes along the line of the floating tower. can only be played on your side, and the time between strikes varies. Okay, so it's not like, do, do, do. It'd be randomized. You drop it off, and uh, I guess we could say that it would shoot the first one right as it dropped off. So if there was something coming, you could do that. Um, and then it has a certain number of strikes that it can do. Maybe they're the same as lightning. Maybe they're a little less, whatever. You drop off that cloud, and it does its damage, and then the cloud disperses and leaves. Um, next, this one's super cool too. Really, all of these are super cool. Um, the shepherd. Okay, so a shepherd boy. I feel like he would fit into this whole knights and musketeers and all that kind of realm. A shepherd boy um, would have a sling. So like David and Goliath, if you guys know that story, he'd have a sling. And he would throw his rock and it would bounce between units. Um, and it would hit a total of seven targets. Okay, so crazy thing is... This is just like the E-Drag. But again, E-Dragon came out more recently than 2016 when I wrote all this down. So super cool that like our minds kind of connect on a lot of these things and you can kind of see the uh, similarities um, there. But I think that'd be really cool. So he, he stands back, he throws, and it hits one and then bounces to the next one. So like say you're going up against a Skarmy or whatever, he'd throw, hit it, blah, 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 blah throw again, blah, 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 and he wouldn't be able to throw again until the rock that he threw um stopped attacking or stopped doing damage um this one i don't really have a name for just an idea it's a troop that starts off on the ground on your side and then once it gets to the enemy's side then it begins to um fly or whatever okay so i guess you could think about like an airplane taking off but it wouldn't be an airplane um it'd be something I, like i'm surprised we don't have any wizards that float you know what i mean like come on Wizards have magic. You would think they'd be able to, like, float or something. Um, I, I don't know. So, starts off on your side walking, and then once it gets to the other side, then that's when it, it'll it kind of take flight, I guess. Um, and then uh, <coughs> I wrote floating tower in here again. That's kind of funny. And then I had another one um, that isn't in here, but it was um, a, a girl with two revolvers. So, she'd pull them up, and she'd be able to... They would shoot they wouldn't shoot the same target so i guess kind of like the e-wiz and the fact that the e-wiz has two different things doing damage um but it'd be like a a, a gunner they would just be like bo, 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 bo. wouldn't have the shock effect anything like that i think it'd be super cool but those are my ideas guys let me know how y'all feel about them um again i wrote these down um back in july of 2016 um i man i used to have so much fun coming up with troop ideas man i used to have so much fun coming up with troop ideas um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. Comment down some of your suggestions, some of your troop ideas um, uh, in the comments as well. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.